is Desi Boss. What is the story? And what is an IEEE milestone? Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose was a professor of physics at the Presidency College, Calcutta in the late 1800s. He received his degrees from Calcutta, Cambridge and London. He went to England to study medicine but moved away to study natural science. He was a popular teacher and an outstanding researcher. His research covered many areas including properties of materials, electromagnetic waves and even plant physiology. He was knighted by the British Empire in 1917 and was the first Indian to be elected Fellow of the Royal Society in 1920. Frequency spectrum extends from voice frequency signals to visible light and beyond. Millimeter waves are a small part of the frequency spectrum. In 1895, Bose demonstrated the generation, transmission and reception of electromagnetic waves at millimeter wave frequencies over 23 meters distance. This scientific work by J.C. Bose was at least 50 years ahead of his time. Bose used radiation at millimeter wave frequencies to ring a bell and to explode a pack of gunpowder located some distance away. He also demonstrated that these signals can be transmitted over a distance of nearly one mile. Marconi in England and Popov in Russia were conducting similar experiments at that time to demonstrate wireless signaling, but their experiments were at much lower frequencies. In 1895, public demonstration by Bose in Calcutta predates similar demonstrations of wireless or remote signaling by Marconi in 1897. At the invitation of Lord Reilly, Bose demonstrated his millimeter wave experiments in 1897 before the Royal Society and other learned institutions in London. Bose generated electrical radiation at 5 mm wavelength or about 60 gigahertz frequency with an electrical spark between a sphere and two concentric hollow hemispheres. The spark was created using a 12 volt battery and a circuit. At the time of these experiments, instruments did not exist for measuring frequencies as high as millimeter waves. Wavelength of electric radiation was determined by using curved gratings. An open-ended waveguide was used as the transmitting antenna. A spiral spring receiver in which the spring pressure is finely adjusted to achieve optimum sensitivity was used. A working replica of the original Bose experiment is now available at the Billa Science Center, Hyderabad, India, as part of the IEEE exhibits. The frequency of radiation in this replica exhibit was confirmed to be between 59 and 61 gigahertz using a spectrum analyzer. Bose conceived a receiver with a detector having a point contact junction in which a sharp point of iron was pressing against an iron surface and the output is connected to a sensitive galvanometer. He observed that the junction properties did not obey Ohm's law and the junction worked as an efficient detector of millimeter wave radiation when a certain bias voltage was applied. Bose received a United States patent in 1904 for the discovery of a class of semiconductors detectors and iron mercury iron coherers for electrical disturbances and other similar radiations. Further research and development at millimeter wave frequencies was almost non-existent for the next 50 years. The pioneering work of Jagdish Chandra Bose was at least these many years ahead of his time. The components developed by J.C. Bose in Calcutta 
initially at millimeter wave and later at microwave frequency were outstanding discoveries made more than a hundred years ago. Most of these are used in modernized forms for earth and space wireless links and remote sensing. The IEEE milestones in electrical engineering and computing recognize the technological innovation and excellence for the benefit of humanity. Each milestone recognizes a significant technical achievement that occurred at least 25 years ago in an area of technology represented in IEEE. In September 2012, IEEE recognized this classic experiment of Jagdish Chandra as an IEEE milestone.